Today we're going to be taking a look at our five jam part that we're going to do in Inventor for today. We have a couple of things that are interesting and new for us. If we take a look in this, it's L in shape, so we're not going to be starting with a rectangle or a circle. We're going to be starting with a line tool to sketch our geometry. These three fillets here are 0.375. All other fillets are 0.125. And we're going to have a counter bore in here, and we're going to talk about how to use the offset tool to reduce some of the weight that's on this part. Today we're going to be taking a look at the techniques that we're learning. We're talking about sketching geometry. We're using the line tool. Uh, constraining geometry points for drilling. We're going to use offset, um, not offset, we're going to be using horizontal and vertical constraints. We're going to offset, we're doing it for this, for weight reduction. We're going to counter bore, which is part of the whole feature, tool changes, and we're going to create tabs. Gavin and Chris, you're familiar with this. Everybody else, this is going to kind of be new, creating tabs. All right, let's have a little inventor fun. Starting off from our home screen, we're going to click New, Standard IPT, click Create. We're going to 2D Sketch from our XY plane. Click Front in your World View Cube. And then... Let's take a look at a part. We have a horizontal line coming across, four inches. Then we're going to go vertical up, two, over one, down, 0.5. Then we're going to start back at our origin again and go up, 0.75, and finish off with a line going across. And then we'll create this 45 degree angle line. So let's do that first. We're going to start with our line tool. From our origin, come out to the right hand side, make sure you have your horizontal snap indicated there. Four inches, enter. We're going to go straight up in the air, make sure you have that vertical or perpendicular snap mine is holding on to. Enter, come across that perpendicular snap one, and we're going to go down 0.5. Okay, starting with the line tool again at our origin. We're going to go up 0.75, and we're just going to finish off with this line going straight across. It's well past where we need it to be, but we got to put that angle line in there anyway. So now with my line tool again, I'm going to start at the end point. Start at my end point, and I'm going to come down, make sure I touch this horizontal line. I'm going to click, and now I'm going to enter in a dimension for in here. This is 45 degrees. Okay. Now this little tagline right here we don't need anymore, so let's trim that out. It flipped my dimension to 135. That's the posing angle of the 45 degree angle we had in there, so that still looks good. Next, we're going to place our fillets in here. All of our fillets are 0.125, except for these two fillets up here, which are 0.375. So let's show you how to do that. Fillet tool, 0.125 comes in as default, and I need that. So I'm going to go around and select all my corners that are 0.125 and fillet these corners. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm going to change my dimension, 0.375, and I'm going to click my two larger fillets. Looking good. Once we're finished with that, going back to my drawing, taking a look at my side view here, you can see that my overall thickness is 0.5. So going back to my part, I'm going to finish sketch, go home, we're going to extrude, we're going to extrude in the flip direction, direction 2 here, and then it's going to be 0.5 for my distance. Click OK. We're going to take a 2D sketch, place it on our front view. We're going to get ready to make this rib area going around. So if you take a look at our drawing, we have this rib area going around the whole part, and this is done for weight reduction in this point, okay, or in this part. We're going to show you how to do this. That is going to be using the offset tool, 0.125, and that gets offset at 0.25 for the depth or thickness here. Okay, back to our part. 
if you click the offset tool right away, since we didn't draw anything on this sketch, nothing comes through, but that's still what I want to take an offset. So before I get my offset tool, I have to project my geometry. So I'm going to click project geometry button here, and I'm going to select the part that I have drawn beneath this sketch, and it's going to take in, bring it up. Now I can use my offset tool, bring this in, make sure it's coming to inside of your part, not to the outside, inside of your part, 0.125. Enter on the keyboard. That looks great. And now we have to take and delete some of these areas out of here. So I'm going to right click and delete, right click and delete, right click and delete. And now it's as simple as choosing my extend. I'm going to extend my line down, extend my line over, and then I have to take and trim this area out of here. Okay, now we're back on the fillets. 0.375 was the last one I typed in, so that one goes in here. I also need 0.125, and that's all these other fillets that are around the outside. I'll give you a second to put those in, and then we'll move on and extrude this part. Okay, I have those fillets in. Now we're going to take green check mark, finish sketch. And we're going to take an extrude. I want to extrude this outside area, outside of my offset. This is going to go in a flip direction, number two. And I am going to extrude a distance. Let me show you where I see that. This distance right here, 0.25, for that rib going around. So my distance I'm going to put in is 0.25. And click OK. Looking great so far. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to take care of these holes that are in here. You can see that there's a couple of them that are identified, 0.375 up, 0.75, 2.25, and 3.5 in. And then we're going to use our horizontal constraint to constrain these to one another, and then vertical strength constraint to the one on the top. But first, let's place those points. So I'm going to take my 2D sketch, place it on my front view. Click front in your world view cube. I'm going to click my point tool. And I'm going to take and make three points along the bottom. And one point kind of raised up on that L area. I'm going to place the dimensions in for the ones that are known from our drawing. This one is 0.75. My next one, 2.25. My next one, 3.5, and from the bottom up to here, 1.5. Okay, now we're going to come back up to our horizontal and vertical constraints. First, I'm going to horizontally constrain point on the left to the point in the middle, and that should line them up even. Oh, I missed one dimension on there. From the bottom to that point, this dimension over to the side is 0.375. Okay, my horizontal constraint still works on that, so let's continue with that. I want to constrain from the second point to my third point. And then I want to change to vertical constraint. I want to vertically constrain my bottom right point to the top point. Okay, once you have those done, green check mark, finish sketch. Going to use our hole tool. And up here, we are going to take and have our hole type as a simple hole. The seat we want identified as a counter bore right here. We are going to go all the way through. Okay, we could put a dimension in there if we want, but we're going to go all the way through. And then my diameter that I'm going to type in for my counter bore is 0.375. So right here, type 0.375. The depth of that counter bore, 0.25. And my drill diameter is 0.125. OK, 
Okay, once you have those entered in, once again, that's simple hole with the counter bore for the seat. We're going to go through all. 0.375 starting at the top, 0.25 for the counter bore depth, and then diameter of the drill is 0.125. Once you have those done, click OK. Looking great. Part looks done. Let's go up to default. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to make this material pink. Okay. Now the reason we're putting this tab going around here, or this rib going around here, is this drastically reduces the weight that our part can be, and it lightens the load of this actual part. Okay. Now that you're done, let's go up to orange file in the top left hand corner, go to save as, make sure this is going to your H drive, pull down menu here all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to type in five jam plus your last name. Once you're finished with that, select OK or select save. And congratulations, the next video that we're going to do is how to run the tool pass on this and create those offsets and create the tabs with our tool changes. Nice job.